today we're going to show you how to use the surface profile uh, to stylus profile so start by opening the vision 64 software on the desktop So you want to make sure that there's nothing on the stage that could crash into the tip before you initialize the stage. So this step will initialize the XY of the stage. This next step will initialize the theta or the rotation of the stage. So the first thing that we can do to get a sample on the stage is to click unload sample. We we'll move the stage forward. And we can place a sample in the center of the stage. The instrument is going to be scanning in this vertical direction. So think about how you want to scan across your image in that direction. Then I can click load sample. So now you want to hit tower down and the stylus will come into contact with your sample and then retract. Okay, so now with the tower down, we can position the stylus to be to image the features we want to look at. So I want to analyze this feature here. So I'm going to move the center of the crosshairs below that feature. And we're going to scan in this direction here towards the top of the screen. So it's important to check the details of the measurement setup. We're going to show you a standard scan today for the range. Now I'm choosing the appropriate range for the features in your sample. Hills and valleys can be tricky because you only have a 100 nanometer floor here and a 100, 100 nanometer roof here. So just in case your sample is a bit tilted more than 100 nanometers, you might want to choose hills and valleys. That'll reduce your range to 50% of this range here. So keep that in mind. We only have a two micrometer radius stylus installed. Four stiff samples, five milligrams is plenty of force. Let's say I want to travel um, 800 microns. Okay, should be good to go. I'll click measurement. Measurement is complete, so now we can do some analysis. So, first thing we want to do is to flatten the scan. So, for example, if this is here by default, so I'm just going to delete that. This is the original data here. So, what we want to do is add this terms removal so we can subtract the baseline. But what we want to do, we don't want to use this entire sample as a baseline, otherwise, it's going to tilt the whole thing. So I just want to set this M value over a flat region, and the R value over a flat region. I'm going to right click on this terms removal, edit settings, two point linear fit, calculate. Now we have a new baseline. 
with our base at zero and our features up here. And now I could take some measurements. So for example, I could highlight an area here, highlight an area with the R. And now at the bottom of the screen, we have uh, an average height over this width for the M cursor, an average height for the R cursor, and now a difference of 110 millimeters. You can export this data in a few different ways. Right click export data will give you a CSV file. You can also save, I think it's an OPDX file. And you can open that in some of the software like Gwydion and do extra analyses there. There's other analyses you could do here. You could add something. Profile stats, edit settings, and you can choose from these roughness parameters here and calculate those. Enable your roughness parameters. So for finishing up, click back on this measurement setup to get back to the main screen. And we can just click unload sample. And that will lift up the stylus and move the stage all the way out in one step if you remove your sample. At the end of the session, close the software and that's it.